Hey guys, this video is going to be truly special because we're going to read a book and then we're going to do a craft. And of course, I still have my jokes I'm going to tell you. So get ready. All right. Our book today is called Pig the Pug. This book is by Aaron Blaby. So I want to thank Scholastic and Aaron Blaby for letting us read this book today. They have given us permission to do that. And um, I need you to get a few things so we're ready for our craft at the end of the story. So I need you to get a plain piece of paper. It could be a paper with lines or color on it, that's okay. But a plain piece of paper. And also ask your parents if you can use a pair of scissors. And you'll need either a black marker or a black pen. Okay, so that's for our craft. And you can go ahead and get those supplies. Um, and I'll tell a few jokes while you're getting those together. Or you could pause the video and get those together. Okay, so my first joke, and they're both going to be about dogs. <clears throat> what do you call a dog musician? You ready? A labracadabrador. That's hard to say. A labracadabrador. Got it? Um, okay, so my next joke. This is one of my favorites. What do you call a cold dog? A cold dog. A chili dog. Get it? Chili? I knew you'd like that one. Okay, so we're going to get started with the pig, the pug. Uh, if you're still getting your materials together, your paper, your black pen or marker, and a pair of scissors, that's okay. You can listen while you find those or ask a parent to help. Here we go. Pig, the pug. Look at this pug's face. What kind of dog do you think he is? What is he feeling? Look at him. Surprised? Mad? I don't know. What's your guess? I don't know. Let's find out though. <clears throat> Pig the pug. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor. But when was he nice to him? I'll tell you. Never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say. But Pig would just grumble. They're mine. Go away. Aw, poor Trevor. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both played together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. What do you think flipped his wig means? He's not wearing a wig. Maybe it's a feeling that he's having, like freaking out or getting angry. No, they are mine, didn't you hear? Only mine. You keep your paws off them. They are mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share, but I'll never do that. I won't, and I swear. Ooh. I feel like he's kind of rotten. Like not a good dog. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff. Whoa. And make a big pile with a huff and a puff. That's all his toys. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig, now you won't get my loot. It is mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? Look how happy and proud he is that he gathered up his toys. What do you think is behind him that we're seeing these trees? A window? A door? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh dear me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the sh what shame it was. Oh, what a shame it was. Look, he is falling. When you see this picture, do you think of some sounds? I'm thinking of like, oh, like he's falling. Well, pigs cannot fly. Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> Look what it says. Pugs cannot fly. That's true. Look at poor pig the pug. Fell out the window. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Oh, so some time has passed. 
You could tell Trevor's using some of the toys. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friend, and they both play together. Oh. While Pig's on the mend. Oh, what do you think on the mend means? Maybe like getting better, healing up, which is what we hope everyone in the world is doing if they're not feeling good today. We hope everyone's on the mend. Okay, guys, it's time for our craft. I hope you have your piece of paper, your pair of scissors, and your black pen or marker. And if you hear any sounds, that's just my dog trying to go to sleep. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get my paper and show you what to do. Um, I'm gonna tell you now what we're making, okay? I was kind of waiting to tell you. Maybe I'll show you my example, ready? We are going to make a paper dog. Are you ready to do it? Let's get started. Okay, so take your piece of paper and hold it landscape style like this. All right, we're going to fold this top corner down into a triangle like this. You see it? Don't let any piece hang off the bottom. Let it just be right there, sit evenly, and then smush it so you have your triangle. Got it? So no piece hanging off the bottom. It's nice and even and it points like a triangle, okay? Now you see this rectangle right here? We don't need that part. So this is where we need our scissors. So we're gonna take our scissors, watch me first, okay? This is important so you don't hurt yourself with the scissors, watch me. You're going to start where the bottom of the triangle is, and you're gonna come all the way up, keep watching me, okay? and then that rectangle will just fall off. Now you have only the big triangle. So this is what you need to do. Okay, now we're going to turn it so that we have the flat side up and we're gonna take this corner and we're going to bring it over to the other corner, okay? This makes a smaller triangle. So corner to corner is what I call it. Let me show you again. Take this corner and bring it over till it's right there. And guys, if it's not perfect, that's okay. You know, it's gonna look all right, even if it's not perfect, I promise. And then whoop, fold it down like that, smush. Okay, now we have a smaller triangle. Open it back up. Let me see that big triangle again. <clears throat> We're gonna take one side of this big triangle, okay? And we're gonna fold it down to make one of the dog ears. And it should fold from that middle crease, that middle fold, all the way down, just so it looks like a dog ear. And like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side, all right? And smush, all right. Pretty good. Now, I noticed we have a tippy tippy corner up here and a tippy tippy corner down here. And I want a flat part for that. So I'm gonna bend this corner back some and smush it real good. Ugh, that way it folds. And now I have this little baby triangle in the back. You see that? And a flat top in the front. Hey, if I'm ever going too fast, go ahead and pause the video, rewind it. Do what you need to do, okay? Everybody is learns at different paces. Not everybody hears at the same time, okay? Um, not everybody understands at the same time. And that's okay. All right, so this bottom I think would look better if we curl it back again and bend it, fold it, and make it one straight line. Will you do that for me? Oh, mine's not perfect but I'm not gonna be upset about it. Okay, there we go. Now we have the flat part where you could like pet your dog on the head and then we got the little chin, that's perfect. Okay, so now we need our black pen or a black marker. So go ahead and get that, let me get mine. We're gonna make eyes first. 
So you see this middle fold that we did a long, long time ago? That's going to separate our sides, okay? So it's going to we're going to put one eye on this side and it's just going to be a circle, okay? We're not going to get real fancy. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? And it's okay if you mess up your circles. It's going to be okay. All right. Now, inside that circle, we're going to make a smaller circle on both sides. I think it looks kind of scary right now, but we'll fix that. Okay, and now I want you to color in those tiny circles in the eyes like this, okay? So now he just looks like he's sniffing around for food. He's ready. Oh, but he needs a nose, doesn't he? Okay. So for the nose, we're gonna do a little triangle, a little further down, okay? And it's gonna point down, kind of like a carrot bottom. You see that? Good. And then when you're ready, you're gonna do a big swoopy letter J, and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side of that nose. Big swoopy letter J. And look, mine don't both look the same, but I hope you understand that that's okay. If you don't do a perfect job, it still looks nice. And then we're gonna put some dots for the whiskers right here on the cheeks. And I only do three dots. You don't, no need to go crazy with the dots. Just a few dots and it makes it look realistic. Okay, and when I used to do this in the classroom, I'd have the kids decorate. You could put spots on it like a Dalmatian or you can make a Labrador retriever and make it brown. And you can write the name of your dog on the back. You can write a sweet message to a family member on the back. You can um, keep it for yourself. If you wanna attach a magnet or do some Velcro or anything fancy, do it. If you wanna tape it up somewhere, ask your parents first and then you can do that. Okay, so we have made our paper dog and I had so much fun. And I just wanted to say I miss you all very much and keep watching for some more videos to come soon. Take care.